Today marked the 10th day in a row of peaceful protesting in Milwaukee, a collective fight against racism and police brutality following George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. A local mom and dad are now at the center of this fight after their son, Joel Acevedo, was killed and a Milwaukee police officer arrested for his death. Lauren Linder sat down with the Acevedo family in their home and has more on their quest for justice. This is um, his sister, his brother, and then me. These days, the Acevedo family finds comfort in this room, surrounded by images of Joel feet away from his ashes. It's a place where they can come to reflect and share memories. He had this energy and this smile about him that just lit up the room. But more than a month after losing Joel, the pain is still fresh for his parents, Maribel and Jose. There's a big piece and my heart is gone. You're frustrated, get angry. Joel died back in April after investigators say Milwaukee police officer Michael Mattioli placed him in a chokehold that went too far. According to the criminal complaint, Mattioli had some friends at his house near 45th and Cleveland while he was off duty. Mattioli told police after going to sleep, he woke up to find Joel going through the pockets of his pants and that Joel punched someone in the house. Joel's parents reject that story. It wasn't a fight like they're painting it. It was Joel defending himself, trying to go home, and they held him. They believe the body camera footage and 911 call will prove that. Joel was begging to leave, was asking, please let me go home. I would leave. Please let me go home. Those were his last words. Jose and Maribel are also urging police to arrest the witnesses who they say played a role in the crime. They're asking the department to fire Mattioli as well. He's walking free and getting paid. It's, it makes me sick. I'm just sick. Mattioli posted bond before prosecutors upgraded his charge to reckless homicide. His job status is now in the hands of the Fire and Police Commission, which says it's committed to a transparent investigation. Mayor Tom Barrett has called for Mattioli's immediate termination more than once, most recently after the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. We feel the pain. We know what it is. The difference is that his was publicized, and that's so, so wrong. But our son, it was done behind doors, closed doors. Despite this, the Acevedos and their lawyer, B. Ivory Lamar, feel the case in Minnesota could help them here at home. It does reflect some light to this case. We hope that these type of instances represent a change amongst America and how police departments operate, um, how they terminate these bad actors when they do happen. In response, Mattioli's attorney released a statement that reads in part, this is categorically not a case of a white cop abusing his position of power against a person of color. Mr. Acevedo's unforeseen death is a tragedy, but it is not the product of systemic failures or racism. Just absurd. I'm upset how the system treated us. It's taken the Acevedo some time to speak out, but they're now going public in the hopes of getting answers and will keep fighting until they get them. We're not going to stay quiet. Even if it costs me my life, I'm not going to stay quiet. Mattioli remains out on bond and full suspension from the Milwaukee Police Department. He'll be here in court for his initial appearance on June 24th. If convicted, he faces up to 60 years behind bars. Reporting in Milwaukee, Lauren Linder, TMJ4 News.